GenBen is a, a decade-old company, uh, started in Dallas, uh, and uh, since then, uh, through our go-to-market strategy, uh, we generated our first revenues in 2004 and became a, a global leader in Media Gateways 2008 with uh, multi-year contracts with some of our leading partners and our direct touch success. Now, we acquired uh, Nortel's carrier voice over IP business in May 28, and uh, they first, uh, to, uh, as a joint company in June 1st, uh, we, we had uh, integrated the company. We brought in 2,500 employees, 1,800 full-time, 700 contractors, and grew the company to 3,000 people. Uh, with that, you know, we have 50 legal entities around the globe, and we serve 80 countries and over 600 customers worldwide. And we are really proud of our uh, customer portfolio. We have about 80 of the top 100 customers worldwide using our equipment. And now we are the global leader for uh, both soft switch and media gateways around the globe. We did a lot of homework prior to acquisition. Uh, when we had for our first day, June 1st, within three weeks, June 22nd, I announced our new global platform uh, based on ATCA. It's called Genius, and that's our IP infrastructure uh, platform on a middleware, and with adding functionality through software development uh, for functions like media gateway, call control, our application suite, as well as our session border controller, security gateway, and DPI product. Uh, from the personnel integration wise, we were done day one. Everybody knew where they report to and they had their email addresses and, uh, and, and so forth. And we did an immediate uh, uh, global uh, tour to meet with and greet our new employees, sales, marketing and field services employees and, and welcome them to, to our new company, combined company. And now we are in the process of integrating our processes and we are targeting to finish the whole integration process by end of first quarter 2011. Yes, absolutely. Both on the wireline uh, fixed side, the broadband development is going on, and we've been uh, one of the leaders of using our media gateways on that. For example, uh, Verizon's Fios is based on, all, on our G6 platform, and, uh, and, and various parts around the world is doing the same thing. And on the mobile side, data is bringing a major explosion and, uh, and the network development requirements. The capacity is uh, really limited and you know we, we do uh, mobile data offload through our products so I see a lot of trend in uh, development and growing that market and uh, also you know mo uh, fixed to, to mobile convergence is happening uh, IP islands are growing so IP to IP connectivity such as IP exchange is a major major topic last a year or year and a half we are the leader in interconnect business on our session border controller so I see a lot of momentum IP to IP is huge, uh, but also migration to IMS. You know, there are certain companies are more aggressive than the others, but I see IMS is the ultimate, and people are going to get there somehow, but it's not maybe as fast as everybody predicted. So we do have solutions for today's networks and taking them to next gen and ultimately to IMS. On the broadband and some of the other data functionalities, we see a lot of growth in Middle East, Africa, uh, uh, some Asia-Pac countries and Kala region. Uh, North America and EMEA has the momentum, but the highest growth is coming from APAC uh, region and Middle East Africa.